that shit back up, dude. It was already down? Yeah, it was. It's already down. That shit fell down? Oh. You just walked over? Yeah, I, I didn't know it. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another JK Food Adventure. Today we are in downtown Los Angeles, and we are at Semi Sweet Bakery. I don't really know too much about this place. All I just know is that when I looked up on Yelp, the pictures look delicious. They have this one thing that they call a dingling. I'm not exactly quite sure, but yeah, but it's like in a little cupcake thing and then it looks like this and it's circular like this and I don't know. It looks really good and I really want to try it and I love desserts. If you guys don't know that, I love, love, love desserts. Dessert queen over here. I'm excited to try this bakery because it looks so bomb, especially because it's named semi-sweet. Mm -hmm. So, you know, usually desserts can be super, super sweet where it's like overbearingly sweet. In Spanish, there's a word called empalagado. And so, like, whenever you'll be eating something that's way too sweet, you're like, oh, I'm, I'm empalagado. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm excited to try this place because it looks like it isn't that sweet. Yeah. So, let's go check it out. What's better than a ding-dong? A ding-a-ling. Now, in elementary school, we used to call dingalings like a dingaling wiener or dingaling wiener. But over here, they have a traditional dingaling, a strawberry dingaling, and a red velvet dingaling. Dingaling, 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 ding. It looks delicious. As soon as I got here, I said I want to try every single one. It looks so good. So, I love Pop Darts. But what I eat, love even more than a Pop Dart is a homemade pocket dart. Pop dart. Pop. Pocket dart. When I saw this, I said, bitch, I just gotta get my hands on it. And I said, oh, this looks so mucho delicioso. What is on the top? Dry strawberries. What is the white thing? Dry cum. What is the pastry? Pocket dart. So let's try to take a bite of this bullshit. Mmm. It flakes away like a high crust. Now I've been waiting for this one. This is called a dingaling. It's a little black dingaling. Mmm. It's like a brownie covered in chocolate. But I don't know what the white feeling is. I love strawberries, so I got myself a strawberry pocket tart and a strawberry dingaling. Strawberry. Mm. <laughs> Strawberry. Mm. That is bomb. Yeah, right. Mm. It's bomb. You see. We know it's bomb. I have to really know. I don't know. It's very creamy. So I'm not a big fan of uh, ding dongs just because they taste like cardboard. They're so artificial, and then the Frosting is super sweet, I guess because of all the preservatives. Since they baked this in the back of this place, it's bomb. So bomb because it's semi-sweet. You know, it's not extra crazy sweet, it's semi-sweet. Now, when making this decision, this is the way I always order for us. Um, I get my dish or whatever I'm going to consume, and he orders his dish or whatever he wants to consume. And then I always order one additional item that we're going to share. So that's where the chocolate almond croissant comes into play. Oh yeah. That sounds bomb. Yeah, I think it's just a, it's a way for me to be fat, but still kind of like hide it a bit and thinking like, oh, we're sharing it. That's why. Because you take a bite and I take care of all the rest of the calories. Triple chocolate chip. Where's, no, you have to say the accent. Triple chocolate chip. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have to say it again. Triple chocolate chip cookie. No, no, you gotta look in the camera. Triple <laughs> chocolate que bella. chip cookie. Wait, wait, but you have to kiss me. I love it when you can taste the egg and butter in the cookie. Then make that. I can just breathe through my nose and just have it fill oh, my entire good. mouth. Oh, it smells good. Oh, bye. Uh, yeah, just not. Take a small bite off. Oh, look. Damn it, that's a big bite. 
I put all the chocolate. Mm. Mm. I think if they warmed it up and then had a scoop of vanilla, that'd be shit. Oh, almonds, powdered sugar, chocolate, croissant. It'd be much better if it was warm. Damn it. Just because of the flakiness of the croissant is that it's even this warm. So it kind of tastes like a cold croissant. And it, mm. it tastes like this. It could have been really good. Mm. But it's like, mm, it could have been really good, but it's not really good. Mm. But it is very crunchy. I can see if it was warm, it would be like really good. Mm. Right now, it's just. <laughs> cinnamon! Why'd you get cinnamon? Well, maybe that's why. Because I wanted to be different from everyone else. I'm honest, honestly. And because I love cinnamon. And I love cinnamon toast crunch, so might as well. Mm. I like rich rice. So I got the red velvet tingling and then. A brownie to share with too. <laughs> She's my date. Well, you feel funny. <laughs> yeah. And a plumberry iced tea, which is plums, blackberries, blueberries, and black tea. That sounds long. She just tried. No, nah, girl, I'm gonna get you sick. I'm so <laughs> sick. What'd you get? I got the straw strawberry dingaling. So I've never had a ding dong, which they compare that to a ding dong. So I'm really curious to see how this tastes. Mm. It smells good. I could have had my mouth in that. <laughs> it's pretty good. I mean, I can't really taste much, but the texture, it's like a cake with frosting, so it's pretty good. It's so moist. It's not even dry. Moist. Moist. It's <laughs> moist. It's moist. Mm. And it's really not that sweet. Like, I think um, Sprinkles Cupcakes was way too sweet for me. But this, this is just perfect. It's not too sweet and it's and it's uh, not too bitter, I guess. Or not so unsweet. I, I'm not too sure, but it's really good though. So I'm a huge sweet fan. Not necessarily dessert fan. I, I like it, but then I can get bored of it and tired of it too quickly, but candies I can eat all day. I love sweets, specifically desserts. I don't really like candy that much, <laughs> but I like cookies, cakes, pies, ice creams, frozen yogurt. I like all that stuff. Cereal. Well, perfect then, because what I don't want to eat, you just finish it for me. Pancakes. Is that a dessert? It is to me. It's delicious. Oh, because you had a shit ton of syrup. So it's really hard for me to eat a lot of sweets, but when sweets are not too sweet, like semi-sweet, I can eat this all day. It's the Mucho De Niro. Julia loves sweets. I do too, but not as much as Julia. She loves dessert. What does your bio say? There's always room for dessert. See? Yeah. Hash hashtag dessert life. <laughs> I so enjoy desserts as well. But I'm not a dessert connoisseur like Julia. If I had to choose between candies and pastries, I'd probably go with pastries. I'd probably go with candy. No. Personally. Because no. because pastries, there's like an art to it where you actually have to like put it together, bake it, or That's however true. you want to like whip it. Like you appreciate the art. I do appreciate the art of pastries. Yeah. I still do I like. Sweet things, but not as much as I used to. Did you used to eat crayons? Mm -hmm. I was the one that didn't eat crayons. Yeah, I did. I did. I saw it. No. I was the one that drank my juice box while eating Kraft Smack and Cheese. I actually hate sweets. I we're at a store called Semi Sweet. This stuff still looked way too sweet. So all I got was an iced coffee. This buy is my kind of sweets, which is actually really bitter. The opposite. That was so good, so oh yummy. Did you like her little date? I did. We had a little yeah. date. Thank you. So sweet. <laughs> but yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Next time you're in downtown LA, make sure to check out Semi Sweet Bakery. It was bomb diggity. It was really good. It was like the right amount of sweetness. Like, oh, so perfect. But yeah, you guys, uh, we down. 
be down in the comments below and let us know what other dessert places or food that you guys want us to try. Until next time.